To add a measurement, tap the Measure tab to initiate your measurements. Tap the hand on the touch screen to move your first point. Tap on the hand symbol to set your first location, then drag your closed hand symbol to its desired location. Tap on the hand symbol to set your second location. Your measurement will then be displayed in your top left hand corner of your touch screen. To add a measurement into your calc package, tap on your measure tab. Next, you will select from the list of measurements that appear on the left hand side of your touch screen. Select the measurement that you would like to complete. In this case, I will do a liver length. Tap on your hand to move to its desired location. Tap to set your first point, then drag your hand and tap on your second to lock your measurement in. If your measurement does not display, tap on your measurement icon that appears on your left hand side of your touch screen and your liver length will be displayed. To view your measurements taken in your worksheet, tap on your worksheet icon on the top of your screen. Select worksheet and all the measurements you have taken will be displayed to add an annotation. Select comments on the bottom left-hand side of your touch screen. Choose comments from your annotation library, or you can use a keyboard that populates upon selecting comments. You can tap and drag the annotation to its desired location. You can also add an arrow by selecting your arrow tab. Here you can tap and drag alongside of your screen. You can delete your arrow or your last comment by selecting your single X. If you want to clear off your whole screen, select your double X icon. Simply tap your keyboard icon and it will disappear. You can do the same for it to appear by tapping your keyboard icon. To add findings, select your findings tab on the bottom left hand side of your touch screen. Tap and select your findings from the list provided above. In this case, I will select gallstone. Three choices will appear, single, multiple, or absent. In this case, I will select multiple. When you are complete, tap done. If your findings do not appear on your touch screen panel, select your measurement tab and your findings will appear. Your findings can be placed anywhere on your screen by simply tapping and dragging on your touch screen. To reverse your image, slide your finger on your right hand side menu. Tap on the reverse R tab. This will reverse your image. Tap your cursor in the right hand side menu. This will allow you to place your Doppler cursor prior to activating PulseWave Doppler. Simply tap and drag alongside of your image to place in your desired position in your vessel. To activate your split or dual screen, tap your split tab on your right hand side of your menu. Here you will have two images displayed on your screen. The side where the blue bar is displayed will be your active side. To activate your left hand side, simply tap on your left hand side. Your previous image will be frozen and now the side with your blue box 
will be your active side. Simply hit freeze and you can store your image. Your full screen tab located on the bottom left hand side of your touch screen will allow you to increase your image size. By activating this feature, you will minimize your function and imaging parameter tabs on the side panels of your touch screen. To activate your center line, simply tap the yellow arrow display on top of your image. Tap and release will activate and deactivate this feature. To activate needle, tap needle on the bottom of your screen. The needle recognition software enhances your needle visualization. Be mindful to keep the region of interest within the dotted lines. Use the proper steer and angle by using the needle icons to change from left to right and the needle angle to change the angle of the beam. You can also adjust the brightness of your needle reflection by adjusting needle gain. Here you can increase and decrease your gain. By selecting your thick tab, you will toggle between a thinner or thicker appearing needle reflection. 